Hey guys, it's been a while since we've spoken. I apologize, I've been sick and haven't been feeling great. Uh, so not only my writing progress, but making these videos has been a bit stalled lately. But I want to sit down and finally make a video. Uh, we have reached about 220 of us, I believe, who are subscribed, which is amazing because half of these are just writing rants and rambles and thoughts, uh, and the other half are reviews on typewriters. So to see that we have a small audience who are actually interested in, in writing and typewriters and all of that stuff is just awesome. Um, and I still have my trusty Smith Corona Skywriter here next to me. Um, I wanna let you know what I've been up to, but then we're gonna dive into today's topic. And I wanted to talk about uh, short stories and the reality of the publishing industry. Um, one thing to know about these videos, if you're just tuning in, if this is the first video you've seen of mine, I always like to say that these videos are actually not scripted. They're off the cuff, and it makes me feel more like we're having a conversation or a dialogue than me re writing down a script and having to just read it to you off a prompt. So here's our open dialogue. So jump into the comments, feel free to respond. One of the things to tell you guys, which for some of you might be a little disappointing, is that I've actually not been using this Smith Current Skywriter as my main writing device. I have actually switched back uh, to using Scrivener along with a uh, mechanical keyboard that I have in my bag and a mechanical keyboard that I have on my desk, and that's how I've been writing lately. I've been kind of experimenting with the writing process. I ended up, um, I have the typewriter as always, I still have my typewriter collection and I ended up buying a, a free write from Astro House that I wanted to do a review on for you guys. But unfortunately, I had it for a few weeks, I returned it because it just wasn't doing it for me, and I haven't since then, or I, before I sold I should say, I never thought about actually doing a review with it. If you guys would be interested in kind of hearing a short monologue about it and why I purchased it and returned it, let me know, I'll do a short monologue. Otherwise, I just don't know if people will be interested So, I, since I won't have the physical device to actually go over with you guys. Um, that being said, like I said, I've kind of jumped back to the computer for writing. There's a few different reasons why. Typing on a typewriter, typing on a free write has made me accustomed to a certain writing style. And I've brought over a lot of those characteristics back to the computer, but this is not what today is about. We'll have a whole separate video about why I went from using a typewriter to a free write to kind of back to a computer right now. I still use my typewriters, don't worry. I use them for letters uh, and memos and other little fun projects to type out. And once in a while, if I'm really feeling into it, yes, I will sit down and try to bang out a, a poem or a short story or something on it. So it's not out of my life forever. I still collect them. It still has a wonderful spot here on my desk. Now, let's dive in to today's actual topic. So it starts with the topic is short stories, but it starts with the reality of the publishing industry and something I learned. So I love podcasts, and one of my favorite podcasts for books right now uh, is the Book Riot podcast. Also check out Reading Glasses podcast. They're wonderful. They're a 30 minute podcast a week. Uh, not writing focused, more reading focused, but still great podcasts. In a few of the episodes, they've been discussing publishing and you really discover the realities of the publishing business. Now, I don't wanna set this out and say that if you're a writer, you're never gonna get published because that's not true. And that's also not the point. You, you probably will get published if you, if you work hard and you believe in your material and you, you seek out an agent and you really go through with it. And that's not something that I've given up. But I've also learned the reality of something. And that is that most writers actually do not make the majority of their income from their writing career. We have great examples of great historical writers who ended up making most of their money that way. Uh, and we have writers today who are gigantic names. We have uh, James Patterson, uh, we have Neil Gaiman, we have Lee Child, we have all these wonderful authors who have made a living, Stephen King, um, who have made a living from writing. But the honest answer is that the majority of writers out there with published material, maybe nonfiction or fiction, actually do work a secondary job. Does this mean I've given up writing? No, not at all. In fact, I'm doing what I love more now. And I wanna tell you about it. It's short stories. And I think it will make your writing better if you focus on short stories. This is why. 
hear me out for a second. First of all, I love short stories, and I always have. My favorite books or book lengths are typically quite short. They're like 250 pages. I love those types of books. It's one of the reasons one of my favorite authors is Agatha Christie, because all of her books have that short range. And in between her books, I also like to read short stories by others, such as Edgar Allan Poe, uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I love reading the Sherlock short stories. Short stories are one of my favorite things. They, they're small, they're digestible, and you can jump between worlds relatively quickly. So one night I could be solving a mystery uh, in my head, and another night I'm in a short horror story. So I really like that ability to jump between different stories rapidly. That's just how my mind works. Some people don't like that. Some people really want to be on a thousand page or 800 page venture of a book. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, generally when I pick books out, I'll find books around, eh, let's say the three to 500 page range is kind of my comfortable level. Not saying I haven't read books that are 1100 pages. I have read a few of them. Uh, but short stories and shorter novels or novellas even, I love. So I love short stories and I never started writing them because I thought the money would be in novels. And that is a true statement. But if the money in novels is generally not enough to support me for my entire, uh, my entire income, I'd rather work on something that I really love and that I'm really passionate about. So I have switched to writing short stories. We've talked about a story that I'm writing, a novel. I hit about 42,000 words on that novel, uh, about halfway there to where I want to be, and I decided to put it down. Part of it was I was becoming bored with the story, just personally. Um, I do lose interest in things if I stretch them over too long a period of time, and that was definitely one thing. This should have been something I could have compressed to about six months. But writing that story, I've been on it for, I want to say a year now. So it's getting a little dull to me. The other thing is though, my confidence in my writing, while I don't think I'm an awful writer, my confidence in my writing wasn't there to read a novel back and say, hey, this novel feels worthy of publishing. I felt like I still need practice. I said, well, if I'm going to be practicing, let me practice in what I love to do, which is short stories. So short stories, I think, are a wonderful place to practice your writing. You can write a short story in a matter of a few days. You can jump between different viewpoints, different genres. You can experiment with different techniques. I actually jumped into writing a short science fiction story. It came out to about, I want to say five, five, no wait, I'm sorry, 7,000 words actually. So it came out to about 7,000 words. Uh, that's about the, the, the area of a short story. Um, and I got to play around with science fiction, a topic that I normally don't write. In my past adventures, I have been writing very long, uh, or attempting to write very long pieces, and they're usually thrillers or, or suspense or horror or in that genre. So it was really nice to be able to write something else. And it was nice to finish something. The short story was 7,000 words, which at this point is nothing. So I was able to write that story and have a sense of accomplishment for writing it. And I have these lists of ideas. I'm excited to go into the next idea and write something else now. Maybe a mystery or actually jump back into horror. Um, it really gives you the ability to kind of play and mold and see what you're more comfortable with. So I would highly suggest that if you're a budding writer, instead of jumping into a novel, because we, we gotta write novels, we gotta write novels. You know, novels are what make money. We're gonna become big on novels. Write short stories. Short stories are fun and exciting to write. And like I said, you can jump between different genres, different writing styles, different techniques, and really, really learn from it. And there's this great sense of accomplishment when you do write something. Don't be afraid of shorter stories. You're doing this writing for two reasons. I'm gonna assume it's either because you love it or you're trying to make money. If you're trying to make money, and that's your main principle, I can't help you here. This is a passion forward channel, and uh, there, there are lots of other channels out there who will just talk about, hey, I wanna make the big bucks, how do I do that? But here we're talking about the passion of writing. And for my passion, those short stories have really helped. In fact, in the short story I wrote, I recently gave it to my partner to read, and he read it, he loved it, and he gave me advice. And that was great, because I learned something that I'm not so great at 
is uh, I, I write passively a lot. So the passive writing technique, if you don't know, uh, is basically when you take, if we're, if we're talking about something and the main subject is the action or what's happening instead of the person, it's a little hard to explain. I'll have an episode where we kind of dig into some common grammar mistakes maybe. I think that'd be really good, but I was writing passively and I really learned not to do that just because I wrote this short story. And that feels a lot nicer than writing an 80,000 word piece and then having someone go, oh, well, it's great or it's okay, but it's all passive. And then you feel this need to go back, like, oh my God, I just worked six months on this and the whole thing is passive uh, or there was this common mistake and I feel like I wasted so much time. But with a short story, I had fun writing it. I love the feedback that I got and I'm excited to move on to the next story idea. So highly recommend it. I even have this book that was purchased for me called How to Write Short Stories. I haven't jumped into it. And I know a short story structure is different because with a standard novel, you have a lot of time to flush things out. So the question with a short story is how do you write a short story without it feeling rushed? My advice, read short stories. Just like the best advice to writing is to read, read short stories. Read, I can definitely recommend reading the short Sherlock Holmes pieces. See how those follow out. Those are a great example. Read Edgar Allan Poe. Of course, these are authors I read, so that's why I'm recommending them. But if you know anyone who writes short stories that you really enjoy, jump into those short stories for that genre. See how they handle it. See how they move along without making it feel rushed. Essentially, I split my story into three pieces, and it does feel fast because you're moving, you know, a story that you could probably stretch out quite a lot bit longer. You're writing in like 7,000 words. And you'd be surprised. 7,000 words can be quite a lot for some people. <laughs> some people will actually uh, take a while to read that. The definition of a short story by some is that it can be read in one sitting. But for a lot of people, even a 7,000 word story, they're gonna read that in like two or three sittings or even four sittings if they're a really slow reader, which there's nothing wrong with. That's just the pace they go at. So that's really what this episode or this episode, like I'm shooting a television show, this is what this, uh, YouTube video is really aimed at. I just want to share my experience that I actually put that novel on hold that I was writing and I've been writing short stories. And it's actually been making me a lot happier. It's been allowing me to hone my craft, try different genres, experiment with different techniques, and then also it's less to, to reform. So when I f write these stories, I don't have as much time sitting around going through those drafts so I can write it, I can edit it relatively quickly, and then I can pass it off to someone I trust for feedback. And that's something we'll talk about in another episode also, working with people who can give you critical, honest feedback, and that's very important. So, short stories have been my key. I still have my typewriters. It's been a while since I've made these videos, but we're gonna keep going forward. I'm gonna keep updating you with how my journey's going. Um, I just want to share that short story idea that it might be a good option to jump into short stories, especially if a novel feels overwhelming. And as you write short stories, you'll notice how you kind of want to flesh it out a little bit more and a little bit more. And you might find that, okay, I've written a ton of short stories, now I want to write a novella. Uh, and you might write a few of those. So take your time, write what you want to write. If you love short stories, write short stories. If you love novellas, write novellas. If you love novels and you want to go into that, go into it right away. I love reading novels. Right now, I like writing short stories. And also poetry, I've been dabbling in that, but that's a whole nother story. Um, dive into what you think would help you, okay? Short stories are there for me. They've helped a lot. That's what I wanted to say. Give it a try, it might help you out in your writing, it might help you refine it a bit more. And like I said, let's you play around. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying subscribed. If you're subscribed, if you're not, I hope you join this journey. I'm learning as I go along, and this is something we're doing together. So I've been trying to alternate, by the way, on episodes between writing-based episodes and typewriter-based episodes, or uh, as, as you'll see what I mean, uh, more reviews on writing-type stuff. Um, we have uh, some really good videos coming up. So like I said, we have the videos coming up on uh, grammar. I still have to do a video, possibly the next one, on how to choose a first typewriter. If you're someone who wants to get into the typewriter game, um, there's also some accessories I've been wanting to review for writing that I've gotten.
stuff that maybe not everyone will find interesting, in, like certain writing utensils and keyboards and stuff like that. But I think a good portion of you might actually be interested because as a writer, our tools are our keyboards or our typewriters or our pencils or our pens. So knowing a little bit more about those and how they can be more enjoyable might actually be good. And like I said, if you're interested in that free write review, let me know. I'll try to do a short monologue about it. Um, if no one's interested in the free write review, I'll probably just mention it in passing in the episode that I would like to publish uh, where or post in the episode where I talk about why I have migrated from using a computer to a typewriter to a typewriter smart computer hybrid back to a computer again. Um, so right now, my primary writing device is actually an iPad. An iPad with a wireless mechanical keyboard. And I love it. So have a great day, guys. Stay tuned. Share this video with anyone you think it might help. Uh, and go read some short stories. Let me know what are your short story favorites. Have you written short stories before? Do you really like them? And thanks for hanging out to the end. We'll talk next time, guys. Thanks.